right, we're back with video number 10 in our Getting Started with Pro Tools Basics series. A short video showing basics on how to get in right away, record with Pro Tools, and learn all the shortcuts so you can do it quickly and focus on your music. So in today's video, we're going to learn how to create and copy aux ends, name them and use them in a session, as well as using inserts to help us with our music. So let's dig in. Thanks. First things first, we do our save as. Always do a save as when you start and rename it in a way that you know what it is. So let's create a new track. It's going to be stereo and it's an aux input. And this is going to be a room verb. So let's call it room verb. Now I remember we talked about the solo safe. We're going to do that to the, all our effects and make it a nice blue. And we're going to make the output monitor out. I'm going to copy this over so you could hear what's going on. And we're going to make an input. And the input on this is going to be bus one and two. So now let's say you, you're like, I don't like looking at bus one and two. Well, if you don't, you just go to the IO, go to the IO, go to bus, and you rename bus one and two as verb. If you don't care and you remember it's bus one and two, great, leave it. I put an aux end on a guitar part, room verb. I turn it up, it's gonna go into this aux end and we can hear it back out of the monitor, but there's no reverb, so let's put a reverb on there. So let's go for something cool that sounds good. Room sound is great, and this is a great reverb, Valhalla Room, and they're $50. You can't beat that. So I'm going to make it like a second-ish short. Um, let's see. In 100% mix, right? That. So this is pretty easy to do, and we're going to hit play, and this guitar right in here, the Strat part, is going to have the verb. So let's solo that, let's see what the verb does with and without it. So we'll give it a little less and hear it in the track. So I'm gonna take, put a little less on, but the drums are really where I wanna put this one. So let's move this up there. Now all the drums are coming out of one input, so the kick might be a little crazy, so we'll mess with that for a second. Let's hear it. So that gives the snare a really nice extension. Very simple. So let's add another. Let's do a duplicate. And we won't du duplicate the inserts or the active playlist. We're gonna add, I'm gonna change it up a little. So let's make this one another bus. It's three and four. And let's make that some kind of uh, I don't know, chorus or flange or something for the for the bass to go through to stereoize it. I'm just grabbing the easy stuff that I know you have. So bus three and four, you want to change the name? Sure. Let's do it. Three and four. Flanger. And you could probably get faster than me at this because I can't type, so that would be really easy. So let's put the flanger on. Oh, you know, let's try the flanger on this guitar. Maybe that's cool. I never even thought about that. So that's pretty interesting. Let's let's put it on the uh, bass. Old uh, Andy Wallace flanged the bass. We didn't really use a flange or use the Yamaha. So you see what's cool about this now? I can put varying amounts on either instrument. It doesn't have to be the same. I don't have to burn it as an insert. So let's call that flange. We forgot to name it so we know what it is. Cool, and I'm not using anything crazy, right? So now we have drums, we have a room reverb, we got a little room reverb on one of the guitar, we got a flanger on another guitar, and we now have a little bit of flanger on the bass to spread it out. So let's shut these off, play a bit, and then we'll turn them on. 
Also, and you know how to shut them off and turn them on together. When they're both highlighted, shift option, click. And we don't need this pre-roll, so option K. Off. On. Cool, so you have now added effects like a console through an aux end, not as just an insert, which is way cool. So thanks again for watching these Pro Tools Tips videos. We do appreciate it. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Also hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so we can let you know when we have more like this coming. Feel free to send us any messages or comments. We'd love to hear from you. If you have any ideas or if I missed anything or if you have any key commands, shortcuts that I don't know about, I'd love to learn them from you. Thanks again.